Welcome to our group calendar video. In this video I will show you the resource management functionality of our group calendar for Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011. The new functionality enables users to search for users, resources and resource groups. Activities with the resources and resource groups users are searching for are displayed in all views of the group calendar. This overview of allocated resources helps users to make resource scheduling easier. Start in the settings area of your CRM system and go to the business management area. Here you have an overview of all your facilities and equipment and also of the resource groups. Click on the facilities and the equipment area to get an overview of all your facilities and the equipment. If you click on one of the facilities or the equipment you will get more details like for example the name, the site or the description. You can also define a new facility or equipment by clicking on the new button. Type in the name of the new facility or equipment, put a site if required and add a description if you would like to. Afterwards go to save and close. Now you can see your newly added facility or equipment in the overview. Go back to the business management area to manage all your resources in resource groups. Here you have an overview of all your existing resource groups. If you would like to add a new resource group, click on the new button and type in the name of the new group. Afterwards, go to save and determine which resources should be allocated to the new group. In our case, we will add all our laptops to our new group, all laptops. Click the check boxes and go to OK. Here you have now an overview of all allocated resources. Click save and go back to the group calendar. In a group calendar you have an overview of all the created appointments and activities. Refresh the user list for being able to see the newly added resources and resource groups. For example in our case the laptop 4. By clicking one of the resources, resource groups or users you can see to which of the appointments and activities they are allocated. If you want to select more than just one user, resource or resource group at once, go to the extended select. For example, you want to find out about the appointments Michael is attending and also laptop 1 is used. Type in the name of Michael, choose it from the menu and then type in the laptop's number, for example laptop 1, also select it from the menu and go to OK. Now you have an overview of all the appointments Michael is attending and the laptop 1 is used. You will have an overview of all the created appointments and activities with their allocated resources in all views like for example in this month view, the top down view and also the Gantt mode. If you stop on one of the appointments you will get more details and also see the allocated resources. When creating a new appointment or service activity you will be able to add your resources. Create a new appointment, for example a meeting and then determine the required and optional users but also the resources like for example in our case the users Michael and Christian and the facilities and equipment laptop 1 and the previously added laptop 4. Click the checkboxes and go to OK. Now you can see the added users and resources. Also determine a date and a time and afterwards choose a color for this appointment if you would like to. Close and save to see the new appointment in the overview. If you stop by you can see the added resources and also all other details. So this was it and thank you for your attention.